And as we've seen, not all hunting trips have been successful, but there were many hunters in both Delaware and Maryland that had success this past weekend. That's right, Andrew. Deer processors on both sides of the state line kept busy. Now a warning, if you don't like the sight of blood or dead deer, now might be a good time to catch up on your texting. With the opening of Delaware shotgun season, a steady stream of hunters comes into Mark's Meats in Millsboro, which is as busy as usual. Busy because if you want your deer turned into something amazing, Mark's is the place to go. And yes, this deer bacon is as good as it looks. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Well, this morning I got a little spike, and then I got a little six-pointer in the back of the truck. Not a bad little guy. Some meat in the freezer, that's for sure. I actually got about seven of them on the farm my hunt. And uh, this morning I actually woke up late. I got in the stand about 6.50 and I got the buck first. He was at the corn pile. And then after that, I got that one and they're in full rut for sure. Well, it happened right off bat this morning. Got in there, it was a little rainy out, a little dark out and they were chasing does around and they would put the hammer down on them. So the rut was happening. The rut huh? was happening, they were moving this morning. We were hunting in a clear cut, so it was real thick. Just kind of got to wait for opening and Take a shot when you get a chance. Had you been seeing those bucks at all on any cameras? I got show camera pictures of them clean back from August. So you've been waiting? Oh yeah, yep. I've been watching them for a while. Right. Had them out in archery season, couldn't get them close enough. But got the gun this time. You wouldn't you know they're during gun season they come in bear range. But <laughs> so, like how long were you out there this morning? Well I, I get out early, but I mean I got it at 730. So it didn't take long to get it you know, straight through the neck. Right. Went right straight down it did, so it wasn't no problem or anything on to it. Okay, so this is a buddy of yours, right? Yeah, that's right? my buddy's deer, yeah. Yeah, I had to listen to him shoot it. Every time yeah. he talks about it, it gets bigger. What was your morning like? Did you did you see this one right away? Beautiful with the, with the clouds. No sun. We thought the deer were going to be everywhere. That was the second one to come through. My buddy Mike, he, he couldn't help himself. He had to let the lead fly. It came right to him. It was difficult for me because I was further, I, I, could, I could hear it all. <laughs> Down in Maryland, it's the same story on the first of two junior hunt days. Brothers Joe and Brian Wright even have hunters from Delaware come into their Wicomico County shop. Well, minimum, and then you can get a plane or you can get the cheese, jalapeno. Well, I was about there for about two hours. Uh, started out pretty normal. Now I've gotten a stand. Um, Sat there, saw 14 does. Then um, after the does all ran across the across the ditch, these um, two bucks came out. It was a four point, and of course that buck you see uh, right there it was a, I think it was a six point. It's one there, one, uh, one side of the antlers broke off. And so um, I was going to take the four point. Of course, six point walked out. I took the six point. And after I tracked it and all that, that's what I came up with. Oh, nothing but uh, bucks this morning, as you can see. There's plenty of them in here. The youngsters are having a good time, that's for sure. It's gonna get a lot busier this afternoon, I'm sure, but there's probably a few uh, hanging around somewhere. But uh, this afternoon will definitely be busier this evening. And sure enough, deer were coming in well after sunset. Joe Wright's daughters, Grayson and Gabby, had a very successful day, taking two bucks and a doe between them. How, about this? How long were you out there until you saw it? It was probably an hour right after we got in the stand. And then we saw, I think it was a doe first, and then a buck that kind of looked like this, but I'm not 100% sure it was this one. Then um, he ran away, then we saw two more bucks that came out, and then we saw a hen that came out, but I couldn't get a good shot on him, and then he went away. So then after like another hour, we saw him again, and I shot him. If you've got any advice for anybody else hunting on youth day, what would it be? Um, just keep your patience. <laughs> That's nice. He going on the wall? Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> what was the story with these two? Um, that one, we thought it was a doe, so we saw it walk in after we had gotten both of these, and we saw it there, and then I shot it, and then it dropped. I thought it was going to run away, but I dropped it. Tell me about the buck. Um, we waited after my sister had gotten the, that one, and then... Five minutes later. Five minutes? Oh. Well. It was five yeah. minutes after this one. Okay, so five minutes after that one, we got 
that and yeah. <laughs> well, this weekend is the, my favorite weekend of the whole year. The kids just, the smile on their faces, it's just enjoyable. Get outdoors, though.